Hi viewers, welcome to the next creative channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create cage ladders in Tecla structures. Just type this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now I'm going to create columns. So click on Steel and select this column and click the point to create columns like this. Right click on interrupt. Now I'm going to create beam. So select this beam and pick the first point and second point to create beam. Similarly, you can create remaining beams with the same procedure like this. Right click mouse interrupt. Now we're going to create cage ladder at this location. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here. In search bar type number 60. You will get this component number 60. Go to fit cage ladder. So select this component and pick the first point at the middle of this beam and pick the second point at, at the middle of this grid. To create the cage ladder at this location like this. Now close this window, right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse reload. By default we have a cage ladder like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to edit this cage ladder as we required. So double click on this cage ladder. You'll get this window. Now coming to this option, from this option you can control the spacing between these two vertical bars. For, for example, we have two feet, let's take here two feet to inch, then click on more feet to see the result here. Now the spacing between the two vertical bars should be two feet two inches. Similarly, you can change the spacing between these two vertical bars at the top by from this option. Here also let's take two feet two inch, two inch then click on modify, you can see. Now here also we have the spacing 2 feet 2 inches. Now coming to this option. You can see from the peak point to edge of this bar we have the by default spacing is the 6 inches. If you want to increase you can increase from here. Let's take 8 inch then click on mod fit to see the result. You can see now the spacing is increased and you can see you will get like this. Now coming to this option, from this option you can control the spacing between these two rods. For example, let's take here 1 feet 2 inches, then click on more feet to see the result. Now the spacing between the two, these two rods should be 1 feet 2 inches. Now coming to the bottom, from the start point to this bar spacing you can control from this option 1 feet. Let's take here 1 feet 2 inches, then click on mod feet to see the result. Like this. Now com coming to here, by default we have the spacing here half inch. If you want to increase, you can increase from here. Let's take 1 inch, then click on mod feet to see the result here. From the so support angle to this bar spacing, 1 inch from this option. Now go to parts tab. From this option, you can control the profiles of these cage ladders. For example, from this option, rail bar, you can control this vertical bar width and thickness from this option. For example, click on here. By default, we have the width of this bar is the 4 inch. Let's take here 5 inch. Then click on apply OK. Then click on modify to see the result here. You can see now the bar width should be 5 inches. Okay. To differentiate, we are going to take here 3.5 inch. Click on apply OK. Click on mod to see the result here. You can see now the bar width should be 3 in three and a half inch from this option. Okay. Now coming to this rungs. Rungs is the rods here. By default, where the rod size is the 1 inch. If you want to change the profile, then click on here. Let's take here 3 by 4 inch diameter of this rod, then click on apply OK, then click on modify to see the result here. Now this rod size should be 3 by 4 inch. Now coming to this bottom, you can control this bottom support, ladder support from this option. You can see ladder supports. By default, we have the size of this one. If you want to change this profile, then click on here. And let's take L3 by 3 by 3 by 8 inch, then click on apply OK. Click 
click on modify to see the result here now the angle size is reduced as per this option okay now coming to this back side support means this support this angle if you want to increase or reduce this profile from this option back side support click on here for example we're going to take l 7 by 4 by 3 by 8 then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here you can see now the angle profile changed as per this option similarly coming coming to this option top hoops top hoops indicates this bar this plate profile if you want to change this plate profile then click on here and by default we have the plate with 4 inch let's take here 3 inch then click on apply ok when i click on modify you can see the result here you can see now this plate profile which should be 3 inch according to this option similarly you can change the intermediate plate profiles from this option for example middle middle hoops click on here by default we have the width is two and a half inch let's take here two inch then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result here you can see now this plate width should be two inches according to this option middle hoops now coming to the bottom plate profile you can change this plate width from this option now click on here let's take here two inch then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate profile width should be two inches from this bottom hoops option now coming to this vertical bars you can control this vertical bar profiles width and thickness from this option click on here by default we have the width to two inches let's take here three inch then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result here you can see now this bar plate width should be three inch according to this option click on this parameter step in parameters you can change this position of this cage for example if you want to place this cage inside of this beam then click on here and select the opposite direction of this cage and then click on modify to see the result you can see now the cage should be inside of this beam like this okay if you want to place outside then click on here and select opposite direction then click on modify to create this cage layout outside like this okay if you don't require any cache at this location then click on here and select without cache then click on modify now you will get only the layer without cache like this if you want to create cache then you need to select with cache option then click on modify like this okay now coming to this option from this option you can control this penetration this horizontal rod into this plate by default we have the 1 by 8 inch if you want to increase you can increase uh, if you want to reduce you can reduce from here then click on this cage tab in cage tab you can control number of hoops intermediate hoops from this option for example we want to take 4 then click on modify click on space right click on modify you can see now we have the intermediate plates here you can see 1 2 3 4 4 number of hoops from this option if you want to create number of hoops 3 then click on modify select this cache then click on modify to update this number of hoops in the model like this okay now coming to this option from this option you can control the radius of this bottom hoop for example if you want to take here 1 feet 3 inch let's take 1 feet 3 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this size should be 1 feet 3 inch from this option you can control the top and intermediate hoops uh, radius now coming to this length you can control the length of uh, from edge to here radius from this option now coming to this option from this option you can control from the starting point to this hoop distance from this option 7 feet 
if you want to increase you, you can increase from here now this four feet indicates the spacing between this bottom hoop and first hoop distance four feet if you want to reduce you can reduce from here let's take three feet then click on modify you can see now the spacing should be three feet from this option you can change the profile of this hoop connection from this option then click on here let's take this one click on modify to see the result from this option you can con connect this hoop to this vertical bar like this and the second option is this one click on modify to connect this gauge to vertical bar like this depends upon your requirement you can change this connection type from this option now go to board tab under boards you can control this board size at the support gauge support and back support for example coming to here ladder support board you can control from this option let's take one inch and the tolerance let's take one by eight then click on modify to see the result you can see now this board size should be one inch according to this option now coming to this back side support boards from this option click on here let's take here three by four inch and the tolerance let's take one by sixteen now click on modify to see the result you can see now the board size should be three by four inch and tolerance is one by sixteen now go to support tab under support tab you can control this angle angle orientation for example click on here you can select this option to orientate this angle inside then click on modify to see the result here now the this angle is inside of this cage letter like this if you want to create this cage letter without these angles then click on here and select this without angle support then click on modify to see the result like this without angles back support if you want to code back support then you need to select this option then click on modify like this you, you can control this width of this angle from this option by default we have three inches let's take four inch then click on modify to see the result here now the width should be four inch you can control this edge distance bolt from bolt to edge of this angle from this option let's take here 2.5 inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this bolt size is the 2.5 inch from the edge of this angle from this option as you recall you can change this edge spacing from this option now coming to the bottom you can change this orientation of this bottom support angle from this option click on here and click on modify to see the result you can place this bottom support angle like this inside if you don't require any bottom support then click on here and select without support then click on modify to see the result like this now click on here let's take this option then click on modify you can change this width of this angle from this option let's take four inch then click on modify you can see now this width should be four inch similarly you can change the edge additions from this option let's take here two inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now this edge distance is a 2 inch let's take here 1.5 then click on modify to see the result like this okay then click on modify apply okay click on space right click on the value like this okay that's it about how to create page letter in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many tech class structure related videos. I hope this video is might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.